So I have these files, a finale file, a logic file, which is just a mini map and a movie file here from this Arnold's Park project. The first thing I'm going to do is to take this Arnold's Park and drop it into QuickTime. I use an older version because it plays back MIDI files, but the important thing here is the frame rate, 23.98 frames per second. Uh, and that's the only reason I'm going to drop that there. I quit out of that. I've got this tempo map for Logic that I exported uh, from the original finale file, this Arnold's Park finale file. And so I'm going to use that frame rate uh, that I just found to be correct, that 23.976. And um, notice here that I disclose from the disclosure triangle here these extra tracks. Specifically, it's this movie track that I want to be able to show in order to open the film up within Logic. And I'm going to Preferences here, and in the Advanced Tools category, you'll see that that's where all this is possible. So if I toggle them off and show Advanced Tools, then I'm really not able to see a lot of that information. So that's why I always keep that on. And it's off by default, which is kind of silly. So I'm going to navigate to my desktop now. I use Command D, and I'm going to open up the movie file itself, the QuickTime video, and it's a small one. Um, and I'm opening up the mixer strip by pushing X and then creating an auxiliary channel strip. And I'm opening Finale from the input, and this is part of that rewire that wasn't working. It, do, it won't work until you have uh, restarted Finale, or ra rather uh, Logic, uh, after installing it for the first time. I've named the channel strip Finale. We're actually going to be bringing in the audio uh, from Finale into Logic. So I just drag that Arnold's Park score onto Finale, which uh, is version 25. And here I've got the full score, and I've also got the score manager down beneath it. Uh, so I need to make um, some sound assignments here. So I'm going to play Finale through the audio unit, so I get the Garretton sounds. And I'm going to assign just the harp and the piano uh, tracks here. And so... I want to be able to assign those to some more quality instruments because you know they seem to run throughout the score. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ARIA player here under Devices, and then also the ARIA player again for the piano. And it makes these kind of silly um, uh, judgments on banks. So it's got bank four channels one and two. So on channel one, I'm going to be placing a harp sound. I'll just use a light one. And uh, on channel two, again, this is on bank four, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, uh, one of the piano sounds, again, the light one, because we're just doing a little demo. So those sounds are loaded in. Uh, look here, the playback controls, really important button there, right there. Um, if you don't click that button, you're not gonna hear anything coming um, through Logic. It's really important to have that uh, clicked if you make any changes to the score in particular which we did, we reassigned instruments. So I've started the transport from Logic now. Uh, I've just hit the play button. And so as you can see here, if you look down at the metering, you'll see that there's the finale uh, track there. And that is the sound coming through finale um, into Logic. So Logic is sort of like a master transport or master control at this point with uh, finale working as what we would call a slave program. And I'm just reorienting windows here um, so that uh, you know we get the benefit of the score um, at the same time, which is the point to all of this, of course. You're hearing some extra sounds in here besides the piano and harp. Um, uh, those are the cheesier, soft, uh, smart music sounds. And uh, I'm just kind of taking the opportunity to pull up the video here so that you can see that we can do all this uh, together and everything is in sync, which is the point of this rewire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and just demonstrate the fact that if I use a slider in the video, you'll notice that the cursor or playhead in Finale follows perfectly um, with that slider in the video. So in this case, you know, Logic is what we call the master and Finale is a slave. You always want to open the master first, followed by the slave, uh, and then close out in the opposite way. So slave closes first and then Logic, the master closes. So remembering also that I am going to have to save two files, not just a Logic file, but the Finale file if I've made any changes to it. Uh, so then again, quitting the slave first, and then I'm going to save this logic 
session as a package, notice I've checked movie file, which means that the movie will actually be embedded uh, as part of the logic session. And I like doing that because it means that I'm not going to somehow lose track of or misplace the movie relative to that uh, logic session. So now you see I've created uh, both of those Arnold's Park uh, demo finale and the logic file on my desktop there. So I'm going to quit out of the uh, master now. That's it.